What's going on everyone? I'm Luis Ortiz and um got the Rectech fired up. So sorry for the hiatus. Um within the past two to three weeks or so my computer completely died, right? So it took a lot of the videos with it, but whatever. We're gonna go ahead and test out the foil boat versus the paper wrap. Now I know a lot of you guys that follow this channel have uh, pellet smokers whether it's a pit boss or a rec tech whichever the case so i wanted to go ahead and try this test out first with that next time next time we'll go ahead and try it out on the offset smoker right but for the time being i'm tired as hell man just got out of work starting to get a bit warm down here in south texas so we're gonna go ahead and do this next time we'll go ahead and do it in the, in the lone star grill so keep an eye out for that but for the time being let's go ahead and get this thing going all right you guys so we got two of these guys check it out we got this one Got this one two heb prime briskets uh we're holding a little get together tomorrow so that's going to be pretty awesome so let's go ahead and start trimming this thing the flat isn't too bad on this one although we still have just a little bit of the thickness here it's a little bit on the thin side so we're going to cut it but otherwise it's it's decently shaped so let's go ahead and do that Look at the marbling on this flat. That's pretty fantastic. It's gonna be great. There we go. Let's go ahead and trim this piece right over here. Alrighty gents, it's time to go ahead and put the briskets in. This one is going to be the foil boat. And this one is going to be the paper wrap. I'm going to go ahead and set these a little on the diagonal side. That way they both fit pretty good. And that ought to do it. So this is going to be the full boat. Has a better fat cap. This is going to be butcher paper. Fat side up, fat side down. Let's go ahead and get it. So we are using mesquite pellets. And then we're going to have a... We're gonna have a dedicated video regarding just the pellets, smoke, uh, just the mesquite pellets, and we'll let you know what we think about that. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty, folks. So we're gonna leave it around 180 degrees, which is extreme, uh, extreme smoke mode for this thing. We're gonna leave it like that for I want to say maybe about four hours. Then we're gonna turn it up to about 250 or so. There's one. Ah, okay. It's the fan. Okay, kind of scared me for a little bit. <laughs> I'm still used to the pit boss a lot more than I do this one, but I really like technology in this. Anyways, guys, so once both of them have the bark that I'm looking for, right? Once we have that bark, we're going to go ahead and do the foil boat and we're going to do the paper wrap. Because remember, on a pellet smoker, it's going to be extremely hard to go ahead and get that, um, that bark. So you got to let it do its thing for a good bit. Then once you're satisfied with the bark, then we'll go ahead and do the wrap. So go, ahead, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and let it smoke for about four or five hours, give or take. We'll be back. Alrighty, guys. So it's been about three, almost four hours or so. Internal temps is about 106, give or take. Now we're gonna go ahead and change out the temperature to. Let's do 230 degrees. All right, I'm trying to get this done so that we can go ahead and, you know, get it done real quick. Well, not real quick, but um, wrap it at around maybe one or two o'clock in the morning. So we'll touch base back here in a bit. Let's go ahead and do the full boat. Uh, look at these things, man. 
looking really good. I'm gonna put my gloves on because these things are mighty hot. Oh yeah. Foil boat now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put another layer just to be on the safe side. Ooh, that crunchy bark, man. All right, let's go ahead and put it back. All righty. Next one is gonna be Butcher paper wrap. Let's go ahead and get it out. Alrighty folks, so it's about 4 a.m. and these things are done. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh, okay. You know, it's crispy, but it's soft at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. Oh man, you see this? Look at this. Zero resistance whatsoever. Let's go ahead and check that, this one out. Same thing. Same exact thing. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off and we'll rest it for the next three hours or so. All right, you folks. So it's been about two hours of rest time. Let's go ahead and get the paper, paper wrap since that's what we already know. We already know how it tastes. We already know what to expect. So this isn't going to be so much of a, I mean, it is a comparison, but just want to confirm that everything that we've always done has been staying the same. Fantastic bark. One of the best barks I've done lately. And I think that has to do a lot with the pellets. This mesquite blend is something else guys. I'll go ahead and do a review on them, but I just got to tell you, I'm pretty excited about them. Maybe a little bit more than the oak. It has amazing bark. Look at that. Let's go towards the middle. Oh. That looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and cut this side. Look at that, gents. Oh, like nothing. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test. Mm-hmm. Very good. I really enjoy this. This is a typical brisket that we usually make. It's very, very good. Very good bark, very good seasoning. Mm, it's just good. I got no complaints. Let's go ahead and bring out the other one. Here it is. The bark on this thing is just insane. You hear that? Some of it flakes off, so I don't know how to counter that. But let's go right in the middle, just like we did the other one. I think this thing is a little bit juicier, man. I really think so. And I don't know why. They're pretty similar in size. They're both prime. 
I did not like that. I did not like how the bark broke up like that. Oh, for like nothing. This might be actually a little bit more tender. Let's go ahead and try it out. Mmm. You get a little bit of that sweet action from the fat being rendered as well as it did. Let's go, let me go ahead and try and see if I can retain some of that fat without it breaking apart. There we go. What do y'all think? Perfect slice? Oof. I tried to do it as slow as possible to make sure that I didn't rip apart the, the whole band of fat. Let's go ahead and try it out with the fat. I'm a fat side down person through and through. But this is something else. I will say this. This side is a little bit more saltier. I don't know why. Rarely, if ever, are these salty. But I think with it penetrating the fat the way that it did and rendering the way that it did, it might have kept that saltiness a bit more absorbed, I guess you would say. Not salty or in a bad way, just noticeable. It is something else. I just don't know what to do about the flaky stuff, man. That's the, my only thing. I don't know how to counter that. I know Chud in one of the videos talked about the flakiness, but I don't think he covered how to counter it. So it's probably gonna be up to me to find out. Before I announce the winner, guys, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it, thank you. So I took both briskets over, and you know, all the everybody ate and everything. They seem to have preferred one particular brisket over the other one so if i were to call a winner out of both of these i'm gonna go ahead and say the foil the foil boat the reason i say that is because i think that it being fat side up but with uh foil paper down i think it braised it just enough to make it a little bit more tender it had a little bit more tenderness the flavor was a little bit better the crunchy bark it's a different texture because it's it's crunchy, but it's soft at the same time. It's just right. I'm a fat side down type of person through and through, but this has me rethinking a little bit, man. So it's very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and, and say that the foil boat is the winner here. You know, if you guys haven't tried it, definitely do it because I promise you it's a whole different type of deal. The only thing I didn't really like on the foil boat, some of that bark was uh, flaking off, so I'm not exactly sure how to counter it, but I'll go ahead and, and try and perfect it a little bit more. Maybe do a little bit less pepper, or maybe do a binder, I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and try and figure that one out. If I can figure, if I can make the foil boat not flake off, I think that's gonna be fantastic. That was my only thing, right? That was the only thing. The fat rendered just a little bit better on the foil boat too. Don't get me wrong though, butcher wrap was pretty great. I mean, I liked it. It was really great, fantastic bark. Everything was pretty awesome. However, the texture on the foil boat was just a little bit better. The tenderness was just a little bit better, but the, the fat was just different. So that was very interesting. All right guys, so we're gonna call the foil boat the winner. Be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.